What's up guys, StuDog here, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Duels, so, anyway, we're gonna be trying some Blue Eyes, as this deck, I always come back to it somehow, oh no, it's a good tag deck, it's not a lot of decks that are good tag decks, like Paleozoics, I haven't used that deck in a long time, but it's really not good at tag, so we are waiting here, what do we got? Effect Veiler, my spell card, Spell Veiler, you got a Max C, he's gonna chain Max C, on the Melody of Awakening Dragon. Which, you know, actually kind of sucks, believe it or not. What two Yu-Gi-Oh cards do we want to add this time? Well, I mean, we only got three options. So the Blue Eyes is pretty useless. Whatever. What are we going to do? Just not go Chaos Max? I don't want to give him a draw. Why chain Maxi now? I know, right? Same question that I'm asking, man. I'm still... Gonna special summon one though. I don't know. <laughs> Best answer ever. He's like, no, nope. I I don't know. Why chain maxi now? I don't know, man. So we'll go for the advanced ritual art. Sending blue eyes white dragon to the graveyard. Summon this. He gets a free draw. Whoop de do. And I guess set that. <laughs> Can you guys do us a favor and not rage quit? <laughs> oh my god, some funny stuff right here. So, anyway, yeah, yeah, I, I get rage quits a lot. Going up against Admiral Smoker, 40 card deck with 12 in the extra deck. Lucky number 12. Hmm, actually, I don't think 12 is a lucky number, right? It's 7, right? Maybe you could increase your luck if you put 7 in the extra deck. You're gonna start things off by normal summoning that Goblin Attack Force in face up attack position. <laughs> New card! Do not see the Goblin Attack Force used every day. Interesting stuff. And now uh, my tag partner, JagsFan346. He is a subscriber, I know that for sure. Big thanks for tagging with me, man. He's been a few, been in a few of my live streams. I haven't streamed in a long time, though. But, wow, looks like he's got some great plays. Summon that Scorpio to summon the... Oh, yeah, he played the Frightful Patchwork to add himself a couple of cards. A Poly and an Edgent Monster from his deck to the hand. Yeah, nice search cards for the win. So let's see, is the effect of Scorpio fine? He's going to Torrential Tribute upon the effect of the Scorpio, which is not the right time to Torrential Tribute, my good sir. As you would probably want to wait to at least he summons, but I mean, be my guest. So he's going to go for Sundu King G. King the third? Is it? Or King the second, right? It's Roman numerals for you. Or is it King I I? I don't know. Those, is that Roman numerals or eyes? This is going on YouTube. Yeah, he already knows. He knows it's going on YouTube. Oh my God! And they rage quit after he summons the Chimera Reflecia. But but how, man? Yeah, that was a waste of a torrential tribute. What am I gonna name this? Biggest waste of a torrential tribute or? How to not use Torrential, I don't know, but we'll pause the video, get another game in. Four minute games for the win. Okay guys, back with another tag duel here. The best play in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Just gonna activate Swords Revealing Light and end your turn. Unbelievable! No back row, not even gonna summon anything, just play Swords Revealing Light, end your turn. Uh, that, kids, is the best turn ever. I don't care what anyone says. Best turn ever. Confirmed. But anyway, I think we'll just get rid of that swords in the end phase. Because, I mean, why not? Yeah, probably should use dragon. Or silver's cry. Or well, actually, no, no, no. Gospel's better. Because I want it in the graveyard. To protect my monsters. Synchro Shogun. Blue Eye Spirit. And then end phase will... We'll just banish that. 
So we don't get a ritual, that's um, interesting. So we got the advanced ritual art, we just don't have a ritual monster. Yeah, get that sword's revealing light out of here, son. Too strunk. Way too strunk. Okay, so that was an interesting turn. Let's see what the other guy's playing. Lamont 22. He has a 46 card deck with 15 in that extra deck. Start things off by setting one card face down on the field. Oh no, scratch that. Two cards face down on the field. Which is going to end his turn. Hmm. Could be anything, guys. I have no idea what we're going up against. It's a tag partner. Hopefully, you're playing something of decency. Alexis is a stupid. Oh my god, really? You're playing t Blue Eyes 2? Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I don't even know who this is. Like, what are the odds that we're both using the same deck? That is some crazy stuff. So we see Maxi activated upon the normal summon of the white stone. And he's like, forget it, still gonna go for the plays, activate the sage in his hand to target the white stone, summon blue eyes from your deck. Interesting. I mean having this in the graveyard's nice. Gonna exceed into number thirty-eight. Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. Already giving your opponent a free plus one off the maxi. You might want to stop Alexis. Stop giving him free cards. You know I hate giving people free cards. Not even going to attack with number 38 in end phase. Still going to use white stone. <sighs> giving your opponents a free plus two off the maxi. I'm not, I am not the fan of giving my opponents free cards. I never have. But hey, if that's what my tag partner wants to do, I cannot stop them. So it's back to Wrath's turn. The guy who just played Swords Revealing Light. Let's see what MLG plays he has up his sleeve with a 60 card deck. But he does have 15 in that extra deck, so you do got to give him some props. He'll be able to negate some spell cards if he activates them. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, uh, come on, Wrath. What you gonna do? I don't got all day, man, so you better hurry it up. Come on, Wrath. I don't know. I think he just died at his computer screen. I don't know. I don't know, so I guess we'll pause the video, wait for him to do something here. Maybe he went AFK? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, finally, he's gonna set a monster face down on the field. Great idea. And he's gonna tribute our number 38 for star destroying kaiju Jizo Kiro. Okay, I mean, it's still a free 3300 beater. He's not even gonna play a spell card anyway. I mean, some questionable plays to say the least here. <laughs> But anyway, let's see. What else do we really want to do? Switch that to attack mode, I guess. And now, I mean, Chaos Form's useless. This is useless. We could play this, I guess, and exceed. But let's attack first, kids. What could that set monster possibly be? Oh no, we're waiting. Is that a mirror force? Oh, if it's a mirror force, I don't care. Marshmallow! No! Marshmallow! What am I gonna do? Marshmallow! Oh my god, really, man. It won't die. Wow, that is pretty hilarious. A marshmallow, really? Oh my god, what are we going up against, man? What the frick are we even going up against? Oh my god. 
and there's like nothing to exceed into as well it's like oh my god really whatever just go <laughs> there's nothing we can do there's really nothing I there's nothing I can do to get past that marshmallow there's nothing to exceed into or anything Wow, that is pretty hilarious. I guess Felgran would have been decent. So he's gonna play Regeki. So we'll be able to get past this, but we'll banish that instead. <laughs> yeah, he has quite a bit of cards to work with thanks to my tag partner giving him three draws off the max scene. Yeah, not one, not two, but three. But he's just gonna end his turn play regeki end your turn so again we have no idea what these guys are playing here the world may never know so let's see tag partner I'm gonna flip over my silver's cry and get back dragon spirit all right that's pretty good banish something on the field I'm gonna exceed into that fell grand just Exceeding into Felgren to negate a Marshmallow feels terrible, like I'm just saying. Get past a Royal Decree. Interesting, because I don't think I play any traps in my deck, so that's useless. So what could that other back row be? Another Royal Decree, or? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just interested in how my tag partner is actually going to get past that Marshmallow. Burst stream of destruction. Oh, okay, okay. Easy. <laughs> Show the monsters your opponent controls. Hey, that's pretty convenient. Wow. Don't see a lot of people actually play this card. And now he's going to go for Dark Matter, I'd assume. Number 107, and then slap full armor on top of that, and then Dark Matter time. Yup. Great plays for the win. So I'll be able to send three dragons from his deck to the graveyard. And then your opponent has to banish like three cards from their deck. So let's see, guys. Can you hurry it up? Oh, wait. He's not playing Blue Eyes. Oh, wait. Yeah, he is. He's just not. He's playing a different build than I am. Wait, he's playing Felgram Blue Eyes. I don't even know, man. So it's we're not playing the same deck, that's for sure. But um, that's, that's pretty nice. So let's see what cards our opponents are going to banish from their deck. Sacred Crane. Sacred Crane, Dark Samorg, and a Tin Goldfish. Maybe a Winged Beast deck. I don't know. That plays Dark Samorg. Banish a Dark and a Wind. Uh, these are not Dark and they're not Wind. I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. So we're going to go into battle phase, attack directly for a grand total of 6,500 points of damage. Hopefully they don't have a battle fader or something stupid. I mean, they're playing Marshmallow, so why wouldn't they be playing battle fader? Yay, so we can actually get rid of some of their life points now. Brings them down to 9,500. And then main phase 2. Let's see what my partner is going to do. Come on, partner. Nope, just gonna end your turn. So, back to the Swords of Revealing Light guy. Again, the only two cards we've seen from him was Swords, Marshmallow. Oh, and we did see the Kaiju, right? I think that was from him. Marshmallow plus random Kaiju and Swords of Revealing Light. Next meta confirmed. Just gonna set two cards face down on the field and end his turn. Unbelievable. Literally, unbelievable. I'll oh, trade in that. Oh, yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Holy smokes. Great card to draw was the melody, for sure. So we could add, I mean, this and this, and then the white stone add ourselves the blue eyes. Seems pretty good.
Oh yeah, so this game four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, technically the alternate is game on board. So if they don't have anything to stop this, then we win the duel. Yes, we win the duel, kids. Okay, here it is. The moment of truth. Can attack directly for 2,500. There's the battle fader. Wow, I called it. I literally called it. I called that battle fader. Wow. <laughs> that is hilarious. I actually called that battle fader. In a 60 card deck, too. I will just um, pop that for free, and then we'll... Do you even want to summon Chaos Max? I mean... Uh, save it for later. I mean, we already got game on board, right? Whatever, just go. So, they live another day thanks to the beautiful Battle Fader. Hopefully they don't got another one. <laughs> and back to the other guy's turn. Again, I have no idea what he's playing. We saw like a Dark Samorg Sacred Crane deck and a normal summon that Star Drawing. Reveal the Kageto Kage in his hand. Special summon that. And is he gonna exceed into like a Castell or something? He's gonna exceed into Utopia. No, why Utopia, man? I'm trying to play around all my stuff, I see. Draw one card thanks to the star drawing. And now what? Utopia Ray. Utopia the Lightning. Come on, man. Just do it. There it is. Congratulations. Congratulations, man. And you gonna go to battle phase now? No, he's gonna play Exceed Override Field Spell. Some terrible quality picture there. <laughs> Dear Lord. Okay, interesting. <laughs> now we're going to go to battle phase or not? Wow, really? Wouldn't let me activate the effect? Are you kidding me? In the main phase one, want to activate an effect, and it's like, nah, nah, son, really? That's unfortunate. Wouldn't let me. I don't know if there was something I was missing there or what. Actually, I don't think it wouldn't have mattered because he can still destroy my stuff by battle. In phase, chain another card. Nah, nah, nah. Not getting past the alternate, so we can technically kill that for free. Whatever. So can we finally just end this already? <laughs> oh my god, this duel, man. So it seems like we're going up against some weird Exceed Utopia deck, where he's playing Dark Samorg. But we haven't seen a Wind or a Dark Monster yet, so... Yeah, I don't know. And I don't even know who's playing the Decree. We saw World Decree, so is those... Are those backrows actually traps? Apparently they are. Oh, well, there's Fog Blade. Activated, interesting choice. Again, have no idea what we're going up against. Random Fog Blade out of nowhere? It's like, who needs to play Phoenix Chain, I guess. So he's gonna summon another one of these guys, his own copy. This time the effect resolves, can get past that Utopia the Lightning, desperately needed to get past that. Probably gonna exceed into a rank eight now. Maybe not. I mean, you probably should. He can't attack with any of this stuff anyway. So I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. So what rank eight you can go for this time? Maybe he's out of rank eights. Maybe he only plays two. Like the thirty-eight and the the dark matter package, I guess. I don't know, we're still waiting for something here. This video's been going on for so long. Actually, only 20 minutes. Felt like it's been longer than 20 minutes, though, but... 
Come on, tag partner. Exceed. It's not that hard. You know, you put the two level 8 monsters on top of each other, and then you summon something from the extra deck. Come on, man. First grade. Oh my god, I give up. These guys! Like, what is going on? Come on! Hurry! I got dinner plans. Okay, so he's gonna normal summon his white stone, so he's like, forget the exceeding. We're not exceeding today. Synchro with one of the alternate dragons, probably the one on the right, since his effects negated and it can't attack. Yeah, he did something right at least. Gonna go for a blue eye spirit dragon of his own. Attack directly for a 25 25, and this cannot attack. Yeah, buddy. And then Enfei is gonna activate his stone. Yes, he is. And go for just for a regular blue eyes from his deck. It's pretty nice. Okay, seems pretty good. <laughs> so back to the the 60 card Battle Fader stall deck. Battle Fader Marshmallow. I guess back to the stall player's turn, I guess. And oh man, they're just gonna quit, really. I couldn't have one last turn, really guys, you couldn't give me one last turn. How rude, but some interesting decks to say the least. Seems like my tag partner is playing like a faux grand blue eyes deck. I was playing like regular blue eyes featuring the Chaos Max, because, I mean, why not? But, um, the Stall guy, he didn't do a whole lot. The other guy, though, he was a weird deck. Like, Dark Samorg, Sacred Crane, Random Fog Blade out of nowhere, and then just the Utopia package. Like, I don't even know what he was playing. I guess some Exceed that deck, maybe, featuring Dark Samorg, because, I mean, why the frick not? I don't even know, but anyway. Thank you all for watching this episode of Tag Duels, as always, and we'll be back next week with some more. And until next time, this has been Stew Dog. And I'm signing out. Hey, lights out.